Hi guys, in part one, I showed you I bought this in the charity shop without a controller and it was my lucky day because in my stock of random controllers that I pick up in charity shops when they're left on their own, I happen to have the matching controller. I've had this for years, so there's no direct link between that and that but it is the right match. However, as we saw in part one, there's something slipping in here. It's either the gear is slipping on the shaft or there's teeth missing or something like that. So we're gonna have to take it apart. So from the looks of it, two screws there, two screws there, and we should be in. the bigger screwdriver okay a magnet date on this one said 2016 somewhere where did I see that well it doesn't matter but yeah somewhere I read 2016 on it so it's potentially eight years old right Nice little chassis, uh, nice little body shell, looks fun, probably shatter if you actually drove it too hard into something hard, too hard into something hard, yeah, okay, yeah, something's been going on there, bit of tape around it. That clip looks loose, uh, it just broke entirely. So I think somebody's had this one apart at some time. Wonder if that's all the problem is. Lose the screws. Let's get it out so we can work on it. Come on. Gosh, that really does not want to come out. All right, I'm going to stop filming and use a bit of excess um, force. All right, I've got it. 
Okay, so. Well, that one. Maybe all that goes through there somewhere. I'm guessing. Oh, I see. There. That one sits in there like that. That one sits on top of it. It may simply be that because that had popped up, it wasn't being held in place. So it may not actually be a broken gear. I think somebody's taken this apart. Well, clearly they've taken it apart because it's broken. Uh, switch it back on again. Or should I switch it off? That was off. Yeah, well done. Doesn't sound quite right, does it? Sounds like something's... Try that again. Might be able to clamp it down simply with some um, cable ties. I think that's what the problem is. These clips here. It's one reason I don't like taking the motor and gearbox apart, is they do snap. That's clearly what's happened. That one snapped. It fell off as I picked it up. That one's missing. That one's broken. in place now. Yeah, either cable ties or just wrap some wire around it. So that went... Let's not get it backwards. Oh, that's a bit annoying. It will go in either way around. I'll have to watch my video back to see which way around it was when I took it out. That will fit. Either way. Oh, looking at the little marks there, it fits. That way round, but before I put it on there, I'll get some wire and wrap it round there tight to clamp it shut. That's interesting. That looks to me like that's a multi purpose chassis where you could move this along to different positions to give you different wheelbases. That's interesting. I like them like that.
And steering is fairly straightforward. Yeah. I'll have a look at under there as well, because if that's just taped and twisted, I'll put some solder on it. Just looking at that, that they've pieced that out. That's a that bit of red wire there is different to the bit of red wire that was there originally. So they've pieced it out for some reason and resoldered it in there. Oh well, it's doing the job. I will have a look under there and just check. There we are, tidied up. So I've actually wrapped some copper wire round the gearbox and twisted it tight to make up for the fact that the plastic clips were broken. So that shouldn't come apart. And then I put some heat shrink and re-soldered the solder joint the guy had put in there. So that should be fine. Not quite sure why he didn't extend the black one because it doesn't fit into the little slots where it should fit. But that's not going to matter. It's still going to run absolutely fine. So I'll put the top back on and we'll see if it works. So, forwards, backwards. Can't quite get it to spin round. Yeah, success. Well, I'll have to find the video where I picked that up in a charity shop, see how long ago that was. That's a stroke of luck. Very pleased. Yeah, £2. Can't remember what I paid for that. Probably a pound, I would guess. Yeah, what a surprise. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave us a comment so I know how I'm doing and somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists, thanks again.